Hey guys, it is Tuesday, October 6th. It's my sister's birthday and I am about to work on some pin stuff for a bit. I'm doing four hours of streaming today so the pin stuff will be done during the stream and then after the stream I'm gonna work on some Rugrats art because I'm part of a, a uh, cartoon zine, like 90s cartoon zine. And my show is Rugrats, I had to. Like I was part of the SpongeBob zine and my jam before SpongeBob was Rugrats, 100%. I was so obsessed and so I'm so glad I'm getting to do Rugrats. <laughs> I'll talk a little bit more about that later though. Let's get into the pin stuff. Okay, the stream went a little longer than anticipated. I was gonna end at three, but then Taylor was stopping by to one, pick up extra parts for the pins and all the pins that I graded last night. But then he was just gonna stay here and work on pins before going over to another friend's place for supper. And so I was like, well, if he's gonna be working on pins, I'm gonna keep working on pins. And so I just kept the stream going and we had our little setup here where he was here <laughs> next to me, so. We got a lot done, it's so much easier. It's like a little assembly line where I can unpackage the pins, grade them, then pass them off to him and he pulls the backs off and pins them and puts them back in the plastic. It was so great, like way more productive. I mean, I also just blab a lot when it's just me and I'm streaming, so I'm not as efficient when streaming as I am when I'm not. But also, like we were still chatting with the stream when he was here, but we were just so much faster. So he just left now and it's 543. Wait, let me show you some of the stuff. We've got that bag right there. We've got some in here. There's some down here. This is the work in progress bag, so those aren't graded yet. And those are the B grades. Got all this out. Yeah. Good amount of productivity so far though. So yeah, now I need to watch some Rugrats for inspo for the Rugrats piece for the cartoon zine. I'm just because my thought was, oh, I'll start on a like start sketching or thumbnailing and then I'm like well I wanted to watch some Rugrats before I started on it so now I'm kind of torn I'm like I could just watch Rugrats while doing more pin stuff or like what am I doing I don't even know I also feel like I need to brush my teeth because I had a coffee with the hazelnut creamer and it just absolutely coated my teeth they feel disgusting and so <laughs> I think I should do that first brush my teeth Houston we have a problem this is where I usually keep my Apple Pencil. Uh-oh. 
found it. It was in a drawer downstairs. I remembered I threw a bunch of stuff in that drawer the day the electrician came over because I just found out last minute he was coming over. So, yeah, it does need to charge, though. I made sure the iPad was charged. Just plug this in for a bit. And in the meantime, I can put some of this away. Rugrats is on Prime Video, but for, like, an extra fee sort of thing. But 30-day free trial of Nick Plus. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna do that. And then I can watch a bunch of Rugrats. Yeah. Christian is very interested in watching Rugrats too. <laughs> he really wants to watch it. So I will do all this downstairs. I still want to clean up a little bit though. I brought some pins downstairs already. I mean, I'm probably, wait, am I working on this again tomorrow? Let me check my planner. It opened to this page. <laughs> what, what? Is it Tom Nookoo Tom Nuwook? And my other animation thumbnails <laughs> more here <laughs> i was saying this in the stream but i want to start doing some animation exercises although i want to wait till i'm done the kitty painting and done the rugrats thing but i mostly learned 3d animation and that's also what i did when i worked in a studio and so 2d is a whole other beast for me and so i kind of want to go back to basics and relearn everything but in 2d so anyway that's what i'll do eventually just gotta get a few things off my to-do list first. Oh yeah, whoops. I closed the planner and was putting it away. I didn't even look at what I wanted to look at. Oh, what I wrote for today was not even to start drawing. I wrote, watch regrets and package more pins. That does make sense since, you know, it makes sense to watch some of it before I start the art. But I could still just do random, some random regrets doodles. And then tomorrow I wrote, finish kitty painting. <gasps> And tomorrow's also me and Christian's three-year wedding anniversary. Since we don't go to restaurants right now, we'll probably just order food in, watch some movies. We still have to watch the third Berserk movie, so we could do that. <laughs> I wouldn't mind watching 13 going on 30. I was going to watch that on Sunday, and then I just didn't. But yeah, since the next thing I'll be doing up here is the kitty painting, I should clear off this desk. Ugh, cleaning up after myself? No! <laughs> like two backing cards in there that can go in there oh yeah I gotta open this up too when I saw the security clip of this being delivered I was like wait didn't I get that package yesterday because it looks the same as the box that floriography book came in It's from Revolution Beauty London. I had to order more mascara because I had to throw my old one out because I got pink eye. And what I'm wearing today is a different one that's from even before I got that mascara. <laughs> really old, but it was pre-pink eye days, so it was safe to use. I forget. Oh yeah, I got another concealer. Because the last one I got was a little bit light, so I'm hoping this one's a little darker. <laughs> The other one's still usable, and it will become more usable as we get further and further into winter. Although I guess I'm still pretty pale this summer because I haven't been going outside. <laughs> but yeah, I got two of the mascaras, so I'm kind of set for a little bit. Just trying to make the shipping worth it by ordering more. I want to check out this concealer right away, though. Oh yeah, I think that's going to be a lot better. This is the shade C2. The other one was C1. Ah. Get it off! Oh, I think I also ordered a smaller one. I think. Yeah, the other one is huge. I didn't realize how big it was when I got it. It's like the size of a foundation. Like, this is mini compared to the other one. Yeah, there's the haul. Subscribe for more beauty videos. You are the revolution. Not sponsored. <laughs> Taylor dropped off the pins he packaged. Those are the ones in that bucket right there. So that's a lot. Wow. Don't look. Midna, you are supposed to be my sensor. My sensor bar. I really need to make supper, but we have all these dishes from my birthday that <laughs> we haven't washed yet. And they're kind of in the way. Plus all the dishes we've used since then. It's getting out of control. Raisin toast it is. Okay, plot twist. Christian just downloaded Baldur's Gate. And he says he's not down for Rugrats for another two and a half hours. So, the Rugrats party's staying up here. <laughs> Dinner is served. Just eating my food. But I just got a message from the manufacturer of the advent calendar box. They tried many different options for the 
the insert for the advent calendar because I wanted it cardboard or just some kind of paper material and nothing works based on the design of the box like there's just not enough room between the doors for them to like have the folding bits and stuff like that so they have to do a plastic blister it's basically a piece of plastic with like a bunch of bumps like and you put the items inside them <laughs> i was trying to avoid plastic but they're saying it's not gonna work and at least they tried some stuff but yeah it's gonna have the plastic wait then they can't pack flat to ship <gasps> wait does that mean they're gonna pre-assemble the boxes for me oh no no the because the blisters would stack into each other never mind <laughs> i'm trying to think of how this is gonna ship but yeah never mind excuse me little miss that's my supper. <laughs> the nostalgia. All right, here we go. Looks like Spike's gonna tear that thing's leg off. Oh, no! Spike! Spike! Down, boy! Duff. Well, Spike eats several look at him. He can do anything he wants. I'm trying to draw using only the video for reference is actually really hard. I'm like, show me Tommy again. From a specific angle. <laughs> I need assistance oh, from Google. <laughs> oh goodness, she just put her paw up on me and rested her chin. Oh sweet Mimi. And we got a little kiki here too. By the open window. So this zine is called the Stay Tuned Zine. And just like the Spongebob one we did, it is a charity zine. And this time the charity is the Okra Project. And in their own words, the Okra Project is a collective that seeks to address the global crisis faced by black trans people by bringing home cooked, healthy and cult culturally specific meals and resources to black trans people wherever we can reach them. That's what it says on their website. And if you don't know what a zine is, it's really just an art book, but each page is drawn by a different artist. So a collection of art from various people. And so each person is assigned a different cartoon. And I have Rugrats, which was my choice. And I'm so excited, as I said earlier. I'm just a little torn because I don't know if I want to draw the characters in the original Rugrats style or not. So here when I'm sketching, I'm doing some of them in the original style and then trying to stylize it to be a little more like mine. Because for the SpongeBob zine, I found that my favorites were the ones that were not quite in the SpongeBob style. Like the ones where the artists put their own twist on it. So, hmm, although that's, they were all SpongeBob, so it kind of made sense to switch up the style. I don't know for this one, since we each have a different cartoon, like, should I just stick to regular Rugrats style or, I don't know. I kind of like some of these that I drew, especially the second Lillian I drew. I think she looks cute. Although I like them better without the white highlights in the eye. The first Lil is a bit odd. It was, it was kind of a hybrid between my style and the original, but you know, you got to keep those those distinctive features about them, but I'm also trying to make it a little more mine. I don't know. I'm still a bit torn. So this was just me exploring the styles and just drawing some of the characters as they were from reference. So I drew Tommy, Lil, and Chucky. That's as far as I got and just kind of getting some ideas of what the art could look like. I think I might stop the doodling here. I'm not even paying attention to the show. I'm mostly just listening. So I need to actually sit and watch just for more inspiration from the visuals, I guess. And, and just so something comes to my mind for the actual idea for the art piece right now, I'm just practicing sketching the character. So I still need to figure out what kind of a scene I'm going to draw. I don't plan on figuring that out today. I'm just trying to get the inspo. For this art, I'm gonna do the whole thing digitally because I kind of regretted doing this SpongeBob one as an oil painting, especially since it didn't really look like an oil painting in the finished thing. Like it's printed much smaller than the real thing and you just don't see the paint texture because of the way I photographed it too, so yeah, this one definitely will not be an oil painting. I was debating doing like marker art or something, but I think I just want to go digital because then I can endlessly tweak things and it's just much easier and lower stress, I guess, to move things around because I want to put a lot of characters into it. So it's going to be probably pretty busy, but I want all the main baby characters in it. That's all I know. I was looking at comments on the last vlog and I was surprised how many people liked the sticker part. <laughs> I was nervous because one that had to be a huge chunk of the video because there wasn't much else to film but 
Two, I thought it was like bottom of the barrel content. I'm like, I'm putting stickers in a book. People are gonna think I'm nuts and like, <laughs> this is the worst video ever. <laughs> But I'm glad a lot of you did enjoy it. And I definitely will show me putting the rest of the stickers in whenever I get around to that. <laughs> With posting five days a week, the quality does suffer a little, but it's worth it, I think. <laughs> I hear Christian. Hi. <clears throat> what I think I might do next is check on my Animal Crossing town. Oh, I was gonna say before the stores closed, I think Able Sister Shop just closed. <laughs> But at least I need to get to Tom Nook's to get the daily Halloween item and buy a piece of candy. And also hit my rocks and water my pumpkins. I just planted my pumpkins yesterday. I've been buying this stuff in the shop every day, but I didn't plant any pumpkins till yesterday. So you're supposed to water them every day. So I should get on that. Look at me recording it properly this time instead of filming my screen. <laughs> so here's the Halloween stuff I have so far. <laughs> I got this really cool arch, the scarecrow, a little stool, the lantern, and the jack-o'-lantern. Let's see what's in the shop today. Oh, Leaf's here. I thought he was just here the other day. Whatever. <laughs> that was a giant stool. I take it that's a table. They're kind of weird looking. Oh, it does have a pumpkin face on it though. Spooky table. Wait, I don't have the money. I'm poor! I had too much money, so I dropped bells on the ground instead of going to my ABD. Usually I dress cutesy, but you know, gotta be spooky for Halloween. Oop. I think I dropped the money over here. Or not. <laughs> to the ABD, I guess. There. Yeah, we have some money. I stopped playing this game for so long, so now I'm back into the the daily checks, just to check in on things. Except I keep playing after Abel's sister's shop is closed. <laughs> I'm trying to get the alpine dresses. I have it in blue, but I need the other colors. I'll take it. And I'll buy a piece of candy. See, technically I can buy a piece of candy on all three of my accounts, because yes, I have three accounts, <laughs> but I'm too lazy. Thank you, thank you. I gotta smash my rocks, but I won't bore you with that. My little rock quarry. Oh yeah. Having the stuff in the middle. Hey. Oh, never mind. That's just one that spawns. I thought I forgot it. Uh, I sometimes accidentally grab the stuff that's in the middle when I'm picking up the stuff from the rocks, but it's too cute. I need it. Okay. I also need to water all my pumpkins. This is gonna take a while. Let's see what I got. Oh, this is kind of full. Down skirt. Ugh. I have a lot of excess flowers to get rid of. It rained and they just spread like weeds. But I just can't be bothered to do that right now. Oh, I didn't even check what I got from Sahara. Ooh, stormy night wall. I don't think I had that yet. <laughs> Rough rug. Rough. Oh my god, the ring con is the best. I have to show it to you guys. I gotta set it up somewhere, but I'll just show it to you right here for now. I play Ring Fit Adventures, so I was very excited about this. <gasps> it's a ring con and you can boop it. Wait, let me boop it from the back because otherwise I'm covering it. It makes a really quiet little beepy noise. Oh, love it. Okay. I also have the pattern for a DDR mat, so. <laughs> I don't know where I'm gonna put this spooky table because I was gonna put all my Halloween stuff in the front yard of my house and then once Halloween's over, put it into Bumble's house. She's my secondary character because all her rooms are empty except the main room. So I'm like, she can have all the themed furniture in her house. But like, what about this huge table I just got? It's kind of massive. <laughs> I could replace the backyard table with this one, but I don't really wanna mess with the backyard. Maybe I'll put it in front of this tree for now. Depends what other items there are. I haven't looked online to see what all the items are, but... Oh yeah, and I didn't check what we got from the balloon. Diner sofa. Mmm, I don't have a need for that. 
Okay. Now I need a second one of the seats. This furniture would actually look really cute in my Enchanted Forest. Potentially year round, because the little face on it's the only thing that makes it really Halloween-y. I love the arch though, oh my God, it's so good. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna hit my rocks and then maybe pick up a few seashells on the beach and then I'm gonna stop. What a beautiful sight. Look at that cute baby. Let's do the caption calendar for October 6th. My litter box is here, but I choose to poop here. <gasps> I am gonna shower and then go to bed. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Oh wait, this one's not cut out. What is this one? No. <laughs> what? Okay. I'm gonna have to manually cut these. Okay, I'm gonna plan a little bit before.